Okay. Wow, this upgrade here, um, I can't get it because I don't have the I don't have the money. Um, but it's twenty five to forty rounds. So that's a bit silly. Oh yeah, at max upgrade it's fifty. Also, this is the one I. This is the one to get that you need to upgrade to get the bow, right? Yeah, that's the one you fully upgrade to get the bow. All right, awesome. let me just uh, one with R E five. So we might actually end up finishing the main campaign this time around, but. That doesn't mean we won't have future streams where we do the um, the DLC missions, because those are fun. They are fun. Also, my, uh, my, my boyfriend's video game illiteracy is adorable at times. He was like, well, I, okay, I, I'm, I'm looking at Tomb Raider 2013, and I've never played it. Would you recommend it? I'm like, yeah, sure, it's a good game. And he's like, okay. And I said, I told him I was about to stream Resident Evil 5, and he's like, okay, are those like the same or similar at all? And I said, no, not even by the same company. Yeah. They're... I mean, they're both Japanese, but one's IDOS and one's Capcom. Speaking of... So, okay, actually, speaking of that, though, so there's an old IDOS game that I used to play with my dad that I still, to this day, absolutely fucking love. Um, you ever heard of Project Eden? I think so. It was a mega obscure game for the PS2, but god damn was that game fucking amazing. Just because like it was like a really dingy cyberpunk kind of atmosphere and universe. Hmm. It was super interesting. Um so basically you're like a special police so it starts with like you being a special police unit responding to um a complaint uh, that some shit's gone down at the real meat factory. Probably not real meat, because you know it's it's a dystopian cyberpunk future. Is it like is it like misspelled real? Like it's R E E L, like chick, like like fake chicken is like C H I K N. No, it's like R E A L. It's the real meat plant. But yeah, it's essentially like. And, and and it carries that very common cyberpunk theme of upper level and lower level. Oh shit, I forgot to turn my music back on. I'll do that when we get in the game. Um, but yeah, you have it's this theme of like upper level and lower level and the upper levels where everything's nice and cushy and the rich people live. Yeah. And then you keep descending further and further down and you run into dudes taking like weird steroids that are mutating them and it's really fucked up and weird and I love it. Like yeah, that game is that game's fucked up. Like this you get is huge. Uh, all right, let me turn the music on. Like, I'll never forget the first time I was playing that game. Using a ship like this to away their position too soon. They must have another plan. Yeah, I was playing the game. Yeah, take that dude out. Take the shot. But yeah, and like a dude ran out, and I was about to fight him. I was about to shoot him, and then he just went ah, and he just fucking turned into like some horrible, disgusting flesh mutant. And I was like, okay, this is the game for me. Flesh mutants are pretty cool. Yeah. Anyways, I'm a railroad warrior. You know how you can tell I'm a railroad warrior? I hold it like this. You have like a, lud a ludicrous shotgun that you hold one-handed. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Never mind how I got it. Get fucked. <laughs> Lol. I also switched handguns. This one's more ammo efficient, and especially because you can't get those critical headshots with the Beretta uh, anymore, since a lot of these dudes wear helmets. So, oh shit. So I've defaulted back to US military doctrine, which is just center mass. No bullshit. Okay, so Boogaloo, yeah, we were about to talk about that. Yeah, I'm I'm fairly certain it's an overreaction by Norton, um, or Northam, or whatever the fuck this guy's name is. 
Oh no, yeah. Um, for sure. But I mean I wouldn't I mean I wouldn't be super duper surprised if that was a plan. So but. like the thing is there are people who are doing it out of for genuine reasons. But then as always you're going to get bad actors who are going to join the mix to sow chaos through for their own reasons. But a lot of it is you always ask people like what's the specific threat? Like what and there's never a threat. It's it's always just that, oh, they're going to take our guns away. But it's like, okay, how? What's the mechanism? What What is doing here going to stop? Oh, I read this chain email that said that they're going to put us all in Walmarts or whatever. And it's always the same nonsense. Like, if there's a specific threat, so a specific thing they want to fight, a bill they don't like, that's that's one thing, but it never is. It's always, it's always some fucking nonsense. Yeah, it's true. But, I mean, in this case, you know, there's actually, like... Something of a real threat of, like, ATF collection agents coming to their doors and shit. And, I mean, how realistic that is, I don't know. But it is a lot more realistic than anything they've faced in the past. Which is, for, for the for, to give them the benefit of the doubt, that is something that they can be genuinely intimidated by other than the non-threats that they're usually faced by. I mean, if uh, I don't have a problem with them, like, being sort of a... like having a fun little protest or whatever that's fine fun little it's protest just, in full gear it's just when you're like hey we're gonna storm the capital it's like uh yeah that's no you're not buddy all right we gotta fall back fuck that god these fucking dogs Oh yeah, this retains damage at long range, which is really nice. You need to be careful. That's pretty good. And it's got 10 shots with no pump between, so I don't even have to pump this bitch. It doesn't do the most damage, but the fact that I'm allowed to keep my distance and don't have to get directly in something's face to kill it is a definite positive. And also, like, 10 million points for style. I mean, let's let's be fair. Yes. This is This is the true final form of Chris, is just full Road Warrior. Absolutely, there's a flash grenade there if you have room. I do. What else was on the chopping block for us to talk? Oh, yeah! The NSA was literally like, yo, Windows, your shit's gonna fucking break. That was, that was interesting. The NSA was yeah. The NSA was just straight up like, "Yo, there was a massive security flaw in Windows. You better patch that shit ASAP." Yeah, I thought I read that. It was kind of interesting. That was fucking. <clears throat> you know what's bad when the NSA is like, "Yeah, we're up." Yeah, it's like a it's like a burglar coming to your house and be like, "Listen, you really have to lock your doors." <laughs> like, I, I'm. This is ridiculous. Yeah, absolutely, and it's like. Usually, too, the NSA protocols, like, you know, keep shit hush-hush for, like, about a week or so. You know, they have protocols uh, so they can assess a situation fully before they act on it. But, like, they got this info pretty pretty recently, and they're like, okay, we gotta, we gotta let the people know. I don't understand why they had to tell... Like, I guess they told Microsoft first. Yeah, just because, you know, you want Microsoft to be able to solve it in-house with their own patch. But the thing is, you definitely got to let people know because so many people in, in systems use Windows. Yes. A lot of people. This is an arena. Is this like... Yeah, I was about to say, this is an arena, isn't it? It's a special arena, too. So you got you got to help me out here. Please. Fuck. Uh, try killing the guy with the grenade strapped to his chest first, because he's the one I don't want to be near. If you shoot, if you see a guy with a grenade strapped to his chest, just shoot him straight in the fucking chest, because that's gets rid of him the fastest. Hell yeah! And you might take somebody else out with him. Ow. This guy's gonna transform into a hideous monster.
I'm gonna try to kite him so you can shoot the meat sack. Alright, I got this. Got him. Uh, come here. Oh, there's a, another first aid spray by your feet. Oh, I can. Yeah, I don't have room for it right I now. I can pick it up through the bars. Cool. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Do you really need that red herb? Because I could hand you some machine gun. Yeah, I don't need it. Through the bars. Yeah, you should drop the red herb. I'll hand you the first aid spray or the flash grenade. And then I can give you the machine gun ammo through the bars. We can. We'll, we'll trade it. Okay. So. Take, take that. that. Take that. Oh, okay. Oh, so I discarded it, but apparently it, it just vanishes when you discard it. Yeah, I when you, it went on. Oh no, it doesn't it hit the, the floor. It just vanishes. Okay, well that there we go. It's gone. It's I okay. Guess we can get, I guess we can get another one. We can find another one, and plus I have no shortage of healing items if we die or something. Um, so give me the flash grenade back, and then hand me that handgun ammo through the bars. Okay, or you can just pick up the ones by your feet there now. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, I'm about to let. I'm a. I. I'm finna let you out. Oh, what else were we gonna talk about? We had a lot to talk about tonight. We have. I don't know. I'm sure it'll cut. I'm sure it'll cut. Oh, there's. Oh, there's a dog. Let me know when you're done dealing with them because I don't want to take the cage off before you're done dealing with the dogs outside the cage. Because if they get in, that just makes life harder for you. How are we doing down there? Ah, there, there's another one. Also, fun fact I learned while I was solo grinding. Um, okay, they're gone. Fun fact I learned while I was solo grinding. You only get drops for weapons you're carrying. Hmm. So if neither of, so if both of us decided to not carry handguns, it would only drop ammo that's not handgun. Although that's not true everywhere, because sometimes we get you, when you start you start getting like rifle ammo and shotgun ammo right before you get the uh, rifle and shotgun. True, but that's um, that's scripted ammunition that you get no matter what. But I'm saying from enemy drops you get, you, but when from enemy drops you explicitly only get um, Stuff ammo that you're, yeah, you're carrying. Ammo, okay. for, yeah, ammo for guns you're carrying. Also, definitely, I'd recommend carrying the P226 past a per certain point in the game. Because the Beretta's really good earlier on when you can just one-tap enemies to instantly kill them. But uh, later on, the P226 is raw damage. Oh, I hear a big man. Oh, yeah, by the way, fun fact, this is literally called this enemy... Type is literally called Big Man Magini. That sounds about right. I mad maxed his ass. Okay, so one of us gets on one and one of us gets on the other, and then we roam around. We shoot the buttons, because the buttons are on either side. Oh, 
All right, time for adventure. By the way, if you drop down to get those crates, then I'll have to pick you back up. These two right here. So if you want to get those crates, then do it now. Can we get them? Can we get them later? Uh, I mean, we could, but it'd be more efficient if I just brought this thing back down for you and then raised it back up. See, look at that. That's ammo. That's the good stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, now time for adventure. Honestly, Desperate Escape, the uh, the Jill and Josh scenario, is like better than the main campaign. Damn, that's impressive. I mean, because it's, I mean, for obvious reasons, it's got Josh, and Josh is awesome. Well, obviously, yeah. But, like, you're saying from a gameplay perspective as well? Oh, I don't, you know, I don't remember that much about the gameplay perspective of it. I know it's pretty good. Um, nice. I, I'll have to play it again to really see how... Well, it'll be nice to play it co-op, because that's, again, that's the real way to experience this game. So I think we'll, we'll be able to get a good metric of that coming hot off the heels of this, if it's better or worse. There's magnum here, uh, ammo here by me. Huh. Oh, I... I'm fine on magnum ammo. I'm carrying my grenade launcher right now anyway, so if you want to store that for yourself, you're, you, you go right ahead. Grabbing some treasure. Hell yeah, three thousand. Uh, there's some the doggo. You can pick up the handgun ammo if you want. I'm doing fine. I don't. No, I don't have the room for it. Just grab it. Oh, okay. Yeah, the vests take up quite a bit of space, so by the end of the game, you're really overloading yourself, and you got to be way more space efficient. Yeah. Speaking of space efficiency, you can pick up those grenades. Okay. What am I to do? Do we really need this flash grenade? I mean, it is can it is pretty handy for um... parasites, but I know, but so is healing. Because I'm only yeah, carrying a small green herb. <laughs> Fuck this thing. Unfortunately, there was no solution to that besides discarding something. Well, it's the herb, the uh, herb will serve us well. Watch there be a flash grenade in here? No, but there is rifle ammo. This tank is so big. It won't be easy finding West. Oh, more dialogue. It won't be a problem. Once he knows we're here, he'll find us. Kind of amazing he doesn't know where you're here. Let's just say we have a history together. And he's not the type to let grudges go. Hmm. You must have done something to really piss him off. It goes a bit beyond just pissing him off. So, are you going to tell me what Maybe. What the fuck, Chris? Chris, you can't just do that. Okay, but I'm holding you to that. Okay, Chris. Oh. First of all, what the fuck? Second of all, why, why can't you just say, I brought down his company and everything he ever hoped to accomplish? How hard is that to say, right? I don't know. He probably, if, if we ever start talking about it, he probably just start going on about Jill. Partner. Yeah. I lost my partner. That I found. When my has partner. that ever worked? Stop saying freeze. 
We're not giving you an option. Now spit it out. Tell us what we want to know and you won't get hurt. Where's Wesker? If you can behave yourselves, maybe I'll tell you. How are they shit shots now when they were such amazing shots in other cutscenes? Remember that time Shava shot a moving chain that was wrapped around Chris's, Chris's leg or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Remember that time Chris brought down a giant BOW with like three 9mm bullets? Yeah. God, these, these two, so inconsistent. We got more herbs. Sweet. Where they at though? Oh, they're over there. I think on that. They're there in one of the. Uh... Oh, okay. Here, I'll top you off. Stay with me. Oh, this is a perfect situation for you. Mm-hmm. I think there's an... there's a bu there's gonna be a few down below uh, as well. Is he dead? He's dead. Oh, I see some over here on the left. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, we're in trouble. Here, shoot that guy, could you? So the big thing is we need to rotate, so if they're shooting at me, you need to shoot at them, that kind of thing. Okay. Makes it easier on both of us. Thank God. I hate those guys. Speaking of... Look out! Yeah, yeah. God damn. Alright, fall back a little bit. Uh oh. Oh, this fucker. I got him. Nice. Good hit. I'm going to hit the guy in the storage container. Love that they just turn into meat. <laughs> it's turning yeah, turn into meat confetti. 
By the way, there's some machine gun ammo over there where I'm aiming. I know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm full up on it. Oh, okay. Oh. Got him. God damn, this handgun's so good for the late game. Where you at, homie? Just click now. You jump down. Yeah, I jumped down. All right. All right. This is actually a perfect, perfect situation for my shotgun. Nice. Good shit. Watch it! Yo, uh, now's a good time to use your hand grenades. You have grenades bound to one. That fucker, Jesus. Yeah, I don't... I don't spare any expense for those guys. I pull out all the stops. I'll throw grenades or whatever. Yeah, you know, I have a grenade launcher. I should have used that. Whatever. Oh, right! This is that room. Two incendiary grenades. Good, because, uh... I'm gonna just discard this. We are going to need them. This is going to be a big fucker with a minigun. Oh, JJ? Watch it. Yo, this fucker throws grenades! Yo, I got this bitch. The stun lock. Lol. Fucking owned. I had a really, really good uh, angle on his head from up here. Nice. I think there are two greens down here. Or there's a green up there, right? Up by you? Uh, I think there was. Uh, let me check, because I might be able to top you off and then make another green green. Because there's a green down here. Oh, wait, no, I can't, though, because I don't have two open spaces. Fuck. Yeah, there's a green up here and there's a green down there, so if we had two open spaces, we could make a green green, but we're both full. Shit. Okay. Whatever. You'll be fine. Yeah, we're fine. If you get hurt, I'll just top you off. At this point in the game, though, like, you just need to not take damage at all. And just focus on dealing damage more than you take. Oh, right, this. 
So yeah, you're gonna want to fucking like merc these guys as fast as possible because there are several of them. All right, I got the one on the left. He's dead. And there should be one below. Dead. Okay. Uh, the more of these boxes they blow up, though, um, there's shit in these boxes. Not really valuable enough to risk risk it, though, on this high a difficulty. I don't think we can really take much of it. Yeah, all I can take the handgun ammo. And Maybe some grenades, but that's about it. Still, the handgun ammo is pretty much all I need in uh, longer, longer encounters. This handgun's fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. I still do have that magnum ammo, remember? Yeah, true. I don't have a magnum. So I can give that to you whenever... Yeah, I mean... They'll if, come in handy against that Wesker guy. Yeah, I'll switch back to the Magnum for Wesker. But where in your inventory are you going to put your your orbital laser tracking gun? So, you've made it this far. Oh, God, I, lo I love him. I love Wesker. You won't make it much further. He just looks so dirty. Look at those eyes. The new superior breed of humans. Oh, I remember what else I was going to say. We'll do it after the... We'll do it after Ian McDermott is done being Palpatine. We're entrusted with endless potential. Of do it. Only one survived. You. Are you saying I was manufactured? I was to become a god. <laughs> Creating a new world with an advanced race of human beings. However, oh, it's the fist clench. It's the it's the upset fist clench. Also, I love that setback. Hang on. Your creation still holds great significance. <laughs> Now my candle burns dimly. The candle that burns twice as bright burns half as long. For one Roy. The right to be a god. Ironic, isn't it? There's no way that wasn't tongue-in-cheek Star Wars reference. Mortality. Yeah. The fact that this dude's like supposed to be Palpatine. He looks like they were just trying to make him Palpatine. Oh no, it right in the oh in the in the body. In the in the body. I mean that's why we aim center mass is just because stab wounds in the body tend to make people not live. The right to be a god. You arrogant even until the end. And then what are you? That's a pot calling the kettle black until if I've ever seen one. Being a god deserves that right. You're bloody well right. Boros, I have that right. When he, I hear this word, I've heard this word so many times from this game at this point that all I can think of is the fucking Super Tramp song. <laughs> Oro Boro. Um, okay, so what I was going to say was we were, we were getting it wrong, so... The thing that all the people are infected with are, like, updated versions of Las Plagas. But... Okay. okay. The... Um, or Ouroboros is a virus. And it's not what anybody's infected with. The only time we've seen Ouroboros in the game so far were the two wormy guys we fought. 
Um, and that's because that's how Ouroboros takes effect, is it infects a host, and if it bonds to their DNA effectively, it turns them into, like, a mega superhuman. And if it doesn't, it turns them into a disgusting mass of worms. Oh. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's the story with that. Well, all right then. Color me impressed. Yeah, I did that while I was replaying some levels to get uh, some upgrades. It was like... So, um, the Plagas also spread um, uh, via inhalation. It just took a lot longer to oh, yeah, that's metabolize true. and manifest. That is true. That's how the that's how the original people were infected with it. Like it, mm. you you breathed in the spores and they took root and eventually grew. Now they could make that a lot faster by injecting you with a Yeah. Um it was the slaves in Salazar's minds that first caught it. Yeah. And um you could now you could they could turn you a lot faster by injecting like what I would imagine would be a juvenile one in you that would already go through already be ready to take over, which I which is what they did to to Chris and Ashley. Or Leon. Um, Leon and Ashley. But oh, yeah. yeah, Leon and Ashley. But yeah, they injected them with eggs. Yeah, they then and whereas with the spores, I guess they would eventually become the um the those eggs, which I guess which you sort of see in the cutscene uh, at the end of the game. Or the uh the, the slideshow at the end of the game of that whole process taking place. Yeah, yeah, but um but yeah no Ouroboros is uh, a virus, and I think so. This is where I'm kind of confused, though, because if that black gelatinous mass is what's carrying the virus, though, then Chris and Sheva really would would have fucking had it by now, because I'm sure they've like directly ingested some of that shit from fighting those those, those fuckers, those worm fuckers. Yeah. So and at least with Chris, at least with Chris and Ashley, less so Ada. Um you can say that, well, the reason they weren't infected by it is because they were already infected. They already had an egg in them. So... And also, and also the, um, the vector is a lot less direct. Yeah. Because Leon, Leon, Ashley, and Ada all weren't in the mines for very long at all. And at that point, the mining process was already... Mm -hmm. Like, mining production was already either halted or stopped altogether so there's yeah reasons. but it, you'd, ima you'd imagine if a life form like that uses that kind of aerosol type way to propagate it's not going to stop doing that at any point in its life cycle like you'd imagine that when you killed one of those uh plagas that you'd see like you'd you know they'd, they'd eject tons of those spores in the air since those spores were in the rocks, I mean that that means that's a way the the, the thing spreads itself. <laughs> yeah, that's a spread vector, and that does make sense. But I don't know. Uh, maybe 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 they were, but the amount of time it takes to for that for that process to take hold could be months. And so, like by the time that would have taken effect, they. You had our. You know, I mean, the game takes place over the course of like less than twenty-four. Yeah, yeah, around there. Um, yeah, then like, so in this game, they never really specify how Uroboros is delivered. Whether or not like it enters a dormant state after it infects a host, or how it, it or its major spread vector, because we've only ever seen it directly injected into someone. Yes, for both we've only the, ever yeah, we've only ever seen that happen. Because with the first Ouroboros in the game, Jill injected some random random African citizen with it. Yeah, and then for the second one, he was a test subject, so they directly put it in his veins as well. So so far, we've only seen the virus delivered via direct bloodstream injection. Yeah, so it looks like it's it's exchanged by bodily fluids, which means it can't survive outside of the bloodstream. So it can't survive when directly exposed to uh, to aerated oxygen. Okay, keep that in mind. Keeping that in mind. Because there's going to be something that comes up later that's going to make you pull your fucking hair out. Because okay. this thought process, I've gone down this road already. 
And this is what I wanted to talk about, as I wanted to sow that seed in your mind. <laughs> oh, right, this fight. Oh, the body pile. Hey, okay, we found the body pile, everyone. Hey, woo, we can go home. Well, now it's truly Mad Max, Jesus. All right, body pile. Now we've it's... Located the bo we've located the body pile, Commander. <laughs> Mission accomplished, Commander. Body pile has been lo secured. Bring in the helicopter and the net. We're bringing him home. What's going on? Just shoot her. When I've done so much, all for you. Chris, how nice of you to join us. Wesker, is she pregnant? Don't worry. Your mission is at its end. Ouroboros is on the eve of its appearance. Six billion cries of agony will burn a new balance. Sorry, Wesker, but not on my watch! Oh, fuck off, Chris. <laughs> I'm gonna save the world. I thought they were puns. No. Wesker doesn't give a damn. This is a game about the power of partnership. Partner. Partnership with Chris ended. Josh is my new partner. Quote Jill. Show yourself. Unfortunately, it's too late for you. You will not live to see the dawn. I want to see more Josh and more Joe. Those are the two characters I want to see more of in the series. Though you have been an excellent asset, I have one last task for you. So okay, here here we go. He's blame. She's blaming him for infecting her with Ouroboros. But her whole plan, the plan she was 100% down with and was working to achieve, was to spread Ouroboros around the world, where they would presumably all be infected by it. So she's yes. dead either way. So yeah, either, her it's either DNA, now or later. Yeah, her DNA wasn't suitable for Ouroboros either way. Did she? Did she think she was somehow going to be exempt? Yeah, because the whole idea was to spread it across the globe, and everybody gets infected. I would imagine that includes them, unless they want to then fight the resultant superhumans that, you know, are created by Ouroboros. Yeah, like either... So either Excella was just extremely arrogant and thought she'd become a superhuman, or... Or... Alright, quick time event. Or Excella thought she'd never even get infected in the first place. Also, get fucking owned. Yeah, or Excella thought she'd never even get infected in the first place. Which is ridiculous. And why would you not want to be infected? If the whole fucking planet is infected, you've got what? So you're, you, you normal Excella lady without any superpowers is going to fucking deal with the, 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 honestly, the billions of massive monsters? Yeah, and the presumably like hundreds of thousands of superhumans that do actually get Ouroboros bonded to their DNA. Fucking owned. Yeah, those keyboard and mouse QTEs are a real fucking bitch, aren't they? Yeah, they're really not intuitive. That's why I switched back to controller when I was redoing this segment. I was like, you know what, fuck this. There's no way I'm doing this with keyboard and mouse. You have a gamepad, right? Yeah. You might want to plug it in just for this segment. Hold on, I'll, I'll get it. I just gotta orient my fingers correctly. I gotta use both hands. Okay. Our score is not gonna be very good for this level. Just remember you have four keys that you can use at any given time. Just keep your fingers on those four keys at all times. Okay, thank God. <clears throat> we did it. So, yeah, like... 
He's she's so mad at Wesker. So like you betrayed her. So well, he didn't betray her. He gave her the the, the Ouroboros. No, no, no. Yeah, either yeah, this was the plan from the very beginning place. to get infected, or she was so air. So she was either way. She was so arrogant because she either thought that she was just wasn't going to get infected, and she was just going to be the one remaining uninfected person, or she was so arrogant she thought she would actually pass the gene test. This way, I, I, yeah. There's no, there's no winning in this scenario for her. Either like way, she she's a, yeah. Either way, she was extremely arrogant to believe she'd come out on top. And if she did think she would get it, then why was she, why was she mad at Wesker for infecting her? You think that like, when Wesker was like, "So I'm going to infect you," she'd be like, "Okay, I'm going to become a superhuman." Why didn't she already want to be infected? Why was she waiting? Yeah, that. Why are or any of these people waiting? Yeah, that or she's mad at Wesker for infecting her because she literally was like, that wasn't part of the plan, you asshole. Well, <sighs> but again, trusting Wesker, green text, you know, 4chan green yeah. text, trusting Wesker. And also it's like, but there's no, I, I don't understand. It's like, oh, I will be infected. Okay, so you won't be infected. So you won't be one of the, the several billion monsters or yeah. the presumably maybe 10,000, 100,000 superhumans. It's already been shown that this shit is mega selective with how it, with its DNA selection process. We haven't even seen somebody pass the gene test yet. What makes I mean, you think you're going to fucking pass it? And if, even if she like it's like yeah, and if she didn't think she get infected, and okay, let's say she successfully doesn't get infected. Okay. Well, what's your pecking order in this new world? Yeah, and that's the thing. You're is neither if it's a superhuman nor a mo nor a writhing tentacle monster. You're just some. You're just some lady. But yeah, that's the thing. Is if it's like a one in a million success chance, you those odds are so heavily stacked against you. Do you are you really so arrogant as to think that you will fucking be the 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 unique exception that will pass the test? That's nonsense. That's fucking bullshit. That's absolute wank, is what it is. I think yeah, I think the the big the, the idea is that there's like there's no scenario that she like comes out on top. Oh damn, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Like there's literally no like positive outcome for her. Yeah, I don't know in what you galaxy she thought this would be a like it's one of those plans that's so bad. Oh god, Spencer's still like that. Even if everything goes right, you're still fucked. Mhm. Mm Again, like, there were two ways she could have been thinking about this. Either that she would just wouldn't and would never be infected, or that she'd be infected and somehow pass this really stringent one in a million gene test that this virus naturally does. And either way, that's really fucking stupid of her. It, it, it's the worst plan. Oh yeah, also, fun fact in this, there's, so this whole thing is like, talking about the African facility and the secrets they kept there and the fact that Umbrella was just a shell for this African facility. And uh, they mentioned Carlos. But yeah, apparently most of, the pe most of the original people who worked in this facility are fucking dead or in prison. Yeah, I mean, let's be fair, though. Again, Excella was the person who just, like, showed up on a TV to taunt Chris and Sheva, completely, until then, uh, not implicated in this crime she was committing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, she was like, haha, I've outsmarted you. But y you haven't, because you... All we had to go on was the name given by some fucking drug dealer, and now you're like... And now you've just implicated yourself by showing up to us in person to tell us that you did do the crime. Yeah, there's, there, there's, she's not the smartest. Excella is very, very dumb and she deserved this fate. Let's be fair. She yeah. completely 100% deserved this. Like, yeah. All right, then. Uh, you're gonna get a lot of handgun ammo from this mission if you have an open slot for it. Oh yeah, you already have a slot containing it. This thing is gigantic. 
We have to take it out before it destroys the ship. And here's instructions for our orbital laser. Satellite laser Shango operating manual. I love that they just got an operation manual. Yeah, it's like one of those things that unfolds on the back. It's written in Chinese and <laughs> it's like written in Spanish in another one. Satellite laser. We just we might have a chance. That's that's ridiculous. Roof. Come on. There's no time to lose. A satellite laser, we might have a chance. Said by a Chris Chris Redfield in a Resident Evil game. What about that's ridiculous? Oh, I don't know. The satellite I mean, laser or the fact that Chris Redfield said we may have a chance? Well, the, the orbital laser, mostly. Listen, this game has built up enough goodwill. I think it's earned this much. So do you want to use it or do you want me to use it? Well, is it Chris, it's Chris's job to use the orbital laser. Okay. I shall use the orbital laser. You got some you got some uh, quick action prompts that are gonna come up though, so better be ready to mash those fucking buttons, dude. Hell yeah. So when they're bright, they're dangerous, and when they turn dim, uh, they are no longer dangerous. All right, now I'm charging. Yeah, you gotta watch out for these things. Just sh just get your pistol and shoot them. Otherwise, it'll infect you, and then it's just a pain in the ass, because then you start losing health. They drop lots of shit, though, which is nice. It also helps to kind of kite around a bit, go up and down the ladder. You watch yourself, okay? Still charging. Get fucked. Ow, motherfucker. Ow. Got 
got a one bunch of wormy boys crawling around down below. Oh, they're up here too. They're just everywhere. Thank you. Hey, asshole. You frickin' worm. Thank you. Don't you go dying on me now. All right. I have some spring cleaning to do down here, so stay alive up there. Yeah, I find that it helps if you just shoot the tentacles without the laser device and you just use the laser device on the on the big one. Yeah, we were having we were we were, uh, we were totally fine with the, with the uh the uh orange tentacle things. Okay. They have really predictable movements. Yeah. When they, when they thrash, so you can it's not too hard to follow them. And then when you do, you can just equalize up and get a really good shot. <clears throat> as I need to top us off as soon as the match starts. Um, here, take that. Combine those. But yeah, basically, Excel is stupid and she deserved that. Yeah, she's, she's unbelievably stupid. Um, How are you doing on rifle ammo? Are you running low? I used pretty much all of it. There you go. Oh. Nice. There you go. Let me sell all my treasures. You struggling with your machine gun ammo as well? I used all of it killing those little, little assholes. Uh, here, just fill your sniper up and then... I'll give you this machine gun ammo as well. Beautiful. All right. Let me just have a look at my... What else I can upgrade? They have almost every weapon in the game. Oh, I know what I don't have. I don't have the Beretta 93R, so I'll save up for that. Okay. Ready to go. Ready. So that's the Lugos. I fear for the world if that ever gets Stay out. Stay with me! God damn it, Wesker. He's actually serious about destroying the entire planet. Holy. At what point were you surprised by this, Chris? <laughs> you, you, you acknowledge now that he's serious? He's gonna destroy the entire planet, everybody. Wow, what a I shot. still have my doubts. I still have my doubts about this this planned success. Oh, don't worry. Those doubts are going to be totally founded. Like I don't feel like this pans out even if Chris and Chev aren't here. Again, remember, at this point we've only seen it spread via via bodily fluids directly. There is. And that once it's exposed to air it dies. Because also, don't forget that the original Ouroboros that we fought it would have infected the the BSAA agents it killed. Just listen carefully. There's something I need to tell you. Wesker's superhuman hmm. strength. It comes from a virus, but the virus is unstable. In order to maintain a balance, he must inject himself regularly with a serum. So if we cut the supply of serum, he loses his strength. 
Affirmative. But he just took a dose, so it's gonna be a while before he needs another one. Damn. Listen, Excella said that the amount administered has to be precise. So if he injects too much, it should act like a poison. I think she used what? the term label PG-67AW. PG-67AW? I'm gonna try to find a way to escape. You need to find that serum. Excella always kept it with her, and in that attaché case. Jill. Commit. If you give him too much of his power, he it hurts him. What? Chris. I mean, the only difference between medicine and poison is dosage. Fair, very fair. Let's give it a shot. Okay, yeah, that's true. So yeah, if you give him too much, it, it can poison him. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, really, I don't know. Exactly. The plane can't get shot down. Okay, here's the moment. Wesker plans to get the plane shot down, so it will spread worldwide in the atmosphere. But we've only seen it exchanged by bodily fluids, and if it ever aerosolized, Chris and Sheva would have gotten in fucking infected by it. Of course this plan's not gonna pan out, you're absolutely right. Wesker's a fucking idiot, because he literally doesn't know this fucking pathogen's infection vector. God, this shit makes me angry, Wesker. You're so fucking stupid. Yeah, this is a really bad plan. Wesker's probably even dumber than fucking Excella. Everybody here is dumb. It's not even just it's not even just the protagonist this time. It's everybody. Everybody involved is fucking dumb. Everyone here is an idiot. Excella thought that she'd come out on top and not get infected. Wesker thinks that somehow this bodily fluid exchange virus that dies in direct contact with the air will somehow spread if it gets shot down from a plane. First of all, who's to say that the fiery explosion generated by a missile contacting the plane won't yeah that that inc that uh incinerate that the virus in itself? Because fire is the fastest way to clean up a biohazard. I mean, is that plane going to have a ton of jet fuel, which is going to burn at a super high temperature? Uh-huh. Much higher than just the standard shit you lose, use at a flamethrower, like napalm. It doesn't yeah. burn that hot. And even then, something like napalm or a flamethrower is more than enough to, uh, to, to um, fucking as sterilize. As was demonstrated in this game, when we used a flamethrower. As is demonstrated in real life, fire sterilizes disease. Yeah, fire is something that most organisms can't survive uh, exposure to. It's just too hot. So first of all, the, fi the fire would probably sterilize the virus. Second of all, it will not aerosolize in the atmosphere because it will die in direct exposure to air. We've seen this because Chris and Sheva and all those BSAA agents who got killed by Ouroboros would have been infected. Yeah, there, there, there would be no need to... to... Yes. Wesker, you're so fucking stupid, dude. Yeah, Wesker, I don't think he's very good at this. No wonder Wesker's plans always get foiled. He's literally the biggest dingus of them all. And then remember when he decided he decides to oh, fight fuck. Sheva and Chris in a volcano? Hey, help! I'm coming, I'm coming. Where where are you? Ah! Up the stairs, up the stairs. I see ya. Come on, buddy. We need to, like, get in locations that we can actually hunker down at. Oh, Lord, he coming. So, yeah, uh, uh, there's... You're right, there's no chance this plan succeeds. Yeah, I mean, I mean, par for the course, because at this point we've pretty much verified that Wesker is also an insane person, so... We don't even need to be here. True, but, I mean, it's nice to verify that we don't need to be here, because that's the thing, is we didn't know if Wesker actually had a foolproof plan or not, but now that we know that it's literally just a foolish plan... I mean, if I were Sheva, I would be leaving now. Yeah, Chris... Like, okay, well... There's no way this is gonna work. Yeah, this is... this plan's just gonna, like... I mean, Wesker's gonna kill himself. 
Yeah, Wesker's Basically. gonna get shot. Wesker may be a superhuman, but even I don't think he can survive A, a jet-fueled fiery explosion, or B, a fall from terminal velocity. Like, falling from a window onto a cliff is one thing. That, he can survive. Terminal velocity would literally cause you to fucking disintegrate midair. Well, how quickly do you do you hit terminal velocity? It's uh, it's pretty fast if I remember. I mean, if you're if you're falling from this fucking upper stratosphere, pretty fucking fast. Well, I mean, terminal velocity is reached after a certain amount of time. Pretty much, uh, yeah. Like it's a fall from the stratosphere is the same as the fall from like a yeah, five-story but, building or something. But, e but either way, what I'm saying is, if you're that high up. Because terminal velocity is reached at the same speed because of the speed at which gravity works on you. And eventually gravity stops accelerating you and it's just velocity, not acceleration. That's what yes. terminal velocity is, is when you stop accelerating. Yeah. So, if you're in the uh, stratosphere or somewhere where, you know, because ideally Wesker wants to be very high up in the atmosphere so this, will, this virus will spread as far as possible. Again, foolish, that won't work. But... Oh, okay, so assuming that A, the virus wasn't sterilized in fire, and B, assuming that it was aerosolized and did manage to get into the atmosphere, like... Uh, so assuming all this, though, Wesker would still die because he'd fall from that jet and he would turn into fucking paste before he even hits the crown. Yes. Or he'd be incinerated in the fireball when the jet hits. Is a hit. Yeah, he may be a superhuman, but I'm pretty sure he still has limitations. And aren't they gonna launch it by missiles too? Well, uh, like I don't know. He plans to get shot down in the plane full of the missiles. If then why even have the missiles? Why not just have them in like biohazard containers? I feel like this wasn't thought out. I feel like Wesker was like, I got an idea, and that was the entire the entire thought process behind it. Either way, a foolish move. Wesker, you're fucking dumb and I hate you. Ooh, first aid spray, I can't carry that. Shit. Yo, I got me my own sniper here, Jesus Christ. I don't know how I didn't get hit that entire time. Oh yeah, I was watching that. That was in that was nuts. This this shotgun's like actually a fucking sniper though. It's insane. Well that's good. That extra range really actually goes a long way. Dead. So what's down here? Is this like... Is this just another way around? Kiting routes. There's a dude just running into a wall. Well, tell him to stop. Go home, he's drunk. Also, red herb down here, if you can get it. Uh... I've got other things I need and to And a green up. herb. All kinds of herbs. Oh, hell yeah, more magnum ammo. Yeah, I can't pick up anything. Uh, no healing items, but it's it's fine. Oh, wait, why am I carrying these grenades? Get the fuck out of here. I'm just going to go up and grab that first aid spray that was upstairs. And then we'll pull this lever here, and it'll be time to suffer. Because this, segment, well, this segment's hell. Okay. Oh, is this... Yeah. Well... I can have I have grenades, so I'll just chuck them at people. This is um, we can do it though. We're smart. Okay, first aid spray. Swap it with those, and then well, let's get the show on the road. Hit the lever. Hit the lever. Thanks, thanks, Konami. Let's play some pachinko. 
hit the lever. But yeah, Wesker's plan makes me angry because I could have thought of something better. I mean, like, why not keep it more small scale? It'd be like, oh my god, he's going to infect New York or whatever. There's one. There's two. Okay, get some cover, because we're going to want to kite the shit out of these next guys. Actually, it'll be safer if I start down here. Because from down here, I can get to the thing that'll kill them instantly. But yeah, um, all I can say is, kite, don't die. Looks like it might be bad. Yeah, this isn't looking good. I got hit by an explosion that I had no I had no way of seeing. Rip. Like literally the fight started, the guy jumped in front of me, and then there was an explosion. Yikes. Do you have any actually constructed herbs? No. You should put that red herb away and I'll give you my first aid spray. Let me sell my treasure. Yeah, so I can get on the minigun. Um... Yeah, you definitely gotta not die for that to happen. <laughs> or you can get on the minigun, but either way, one of us has to kind of take some attention off and kite them around so the other person can get to the minigun. Oh, time to kill buggy boys again. God, I love this gun. Yeah, it's a good one. Real Road Warrior hours. It's absolutely ridiculous, and I love it. Uh, the walkways are a good place to run to to not to, to not get hit. Like that ladder, and take the walkways up there. And to be fair, we're going to experience a few deaths because this is the final level on professional difficulty. They like to shoot bullets. Oh fuck. Alright, I've reached the machine gun. I'm 
taking down the first one. All right, one's down. I've gunned a bunch of them down with the, the machine gun. Where's the big guy? He's below. Okay, you're in a safe location. See, this is a turret section that I can actually get behind. Yes, this is an example of what a good turret section is. First of all, because the enemies aren't railroaded into you, you kind of actually have to use your eye to pick enemies. And also, it feels like you're using the turret for an advantage. Other guy's dead. Oh, you got the red guy? Yeah, I just shot him in the head a bunch of times. Alright, well, I'm still dealing with trash mobs, although their numbers are definitely thinning. Oh, that's you. Okay, I almost fucking gunned you down. Because I'm pretty sure this thing can do friendly fire. Okay. Well, any other stragglers I can... You know, I miss the Woodaloo guys. Yeah. Minigun guys just don't have the same level of spirit as the Woodaloo guys. The Woodaloo guys were really into it. You know, you could feel you could feel their enthusiasm. Yeah, yeah. They, were like, they were like the hand cannon old men in Bloodborne. It's that same energy. Um, you can just, yeah, you get, yeah, you want that rifle ammo. Yeah, like, they had some palpable enthusiasm. These guys just aren't the same. Yeah, you can just really feel they're, like, they're going through the motions. Yeah. Know? Yeah, oh, shoot my minigun in the air, get all angry, and ah, haha, -ha, I'm gonna yeah, kill you. Yeah, it's like, here I am, all right, time... Time to clock in, <laughs> you know. The Wulu guys, they're they're they still love it, you know. They the Wulu guy, yeah, the Wulu guys are still love it. <laughs> yeah, they did. They started this job 20 years ago. It never got old to them. <laughs> That's the kind of job you want, you know. The kind of job where you just something doesn't Wulu every time you go to work. It. Man, I wish I could Wulu every I'll time I went to work. Down for a second. I mean, I kind of will. I'm gonna be a ranger, so I mean, I. I mean, that, that's pretty woodaloo. Yeah. Think about it. Yeah. Let's hope I know. Yeah. Imagine like there's some campers, and I just come out and scare them wearing a tribal mask, like and just like almost na completely naked. Woodaloo. <laughs> also, Wesker's got a point. Don't you two ever tire of fucking up? So why did he build this really fancy plane if its only job is to get shot down? Don't think about it. Anyways, here, have a have an action se sequence. Time to see what Wes- This is what Wesker's good at. This is what we should just- Wesker should just stick to doing, is just- Dude, why doesn't he just, like, roam into New York City and just fucking kill people by himself? Not like it'd be hard for him. Yeah, there's- Yeah. Also, you gotta- he, Right now, he's in a situation where he's basically a superhuman. In a world full of regular humans. But he wants to create a world full of 
other superheroes. Other superhumans. Closer to self destruction. I'm not destroying the world. I'm saving it. Also, you gotta admire the Wesker's dedication to fa fashion. His he's got the same checkered suit that matches the texture of his jacket. Yeah, you know what? That that yeah. You like it? Like yeah. He's got a he's got a suit and jacket combo. And it's that, and it's that black and like that chromy black um, checkered pattern. Yeah, the we the weave, like the uh, like the yeah, the chromy weave. Yeah. I really admire his dedication to fashion. So if we if we can't even shoot this guy, what are the odds we're going to be able to like inject him? Oh no, there's there's a, there's a trick to this. Oh, I know there it is. I know there's like a way to do it, but. But I just what I love about this though is like I you know it'd be funny if like Chris rolled up to Wesker and they finally meet again and and Chris is like, damn Wesker is that Gucci? Yo, you got them Ralph Lauren's on? Oh he came running after you. Yeah. Well, cause Chris is the person he doesn't like. You wanna turn the lights out. That's the big thing. Apparently, even though Wesker has crazy cat eyes, he can't fucking see in the dark, question mark? That's an ex machina if I've ever heard it. Oh no, I can't see in the dark. I'm holding an RPG round. There's no point in I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this RPG round. Well, there's an RPG, I'm supposed to reload it. Also, yeah, you better get ready for some fucking fast button mashes, because those bullets don't slow down for you. If Wesker shoots you, you will take like half your health bar. Okay, I have an RPG, and it is very dark, and Wesker can't see. You're merely postponing the inevitable. We might be able to get this first try. All right, so he catches the rocket, and then you shoot the rocket, and then I restrain him, and then you you run up, you run up. No, okay. Wasn't fast enough. Alright, do you have to do you still have the RPG around laying around somewhere? Yeah, it's back over here. Alright, you're gonna we're gonna want that. Alright, we're gonna wanna keep the lights off for as long as possible. Oh, he's using his samurai edge, by the way. Okay, he he knows where I am. Uh, where'd you find it? Where'd you find that RPG round? Uh, that was the only one I had. Alright, upstairs. Go upstairs. He's still looking for me. He's still blind and looking for me, so... Oh, hey, Wesker, what's up? I'm gonna head out over here. See you later. With superior DNA, we'll be chosen by Uroboros. You missed them. But you should just keep running. Don't turn back. New age. And let me guess, you're the one that's gonna rule this new age, right? I don't know. I think if even Wesker succeeds, his brother Kenshiro will show up to stop him. Is that all you have? Oh, are you making fun of his fucking row looking haircut? <laughs> See, now finally Chris has some. Well, Chris has finally found somebody cornier than him. Yeah, I, I like that. I like that Chris is like finally got some got, got some zingers. Chris is finally getting smart. So I'm kind of running in a big circle. Um, there's a little alcove in the upstairs. Oh fuck! Your struggle is over. Uh, what? Oh fuck. Okay. Yeah, turn left. There's no point in hiding. Crack that shit open. Bring one back down. Oh, he's Chad walking at me. I think he sees me.
Oh, hey, Wesker. I see right. some Weskers in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, I've got an art. Load this bitch. These people look so ridiculous right now. All right. I mean, this is how I. This is the kind of Mad Max dark, dark future that I expect. Okay, get ready. Wait till I get close before you shoot the rocket. All right, shoot it now. All right, run up to him. Uh, yeah, you got to be fast, dude. I had to re. Of course, the the shot it took to blow up the thing had me reload. Well, now we need another rocket. That's fine. I got rockets for days. Hell yeah. Well, he's blind again, so you got a little bit of time. He's turning the lights back on. That's not good. Just two perfectly normal t special operations soldiers. Got him. Okay. You close? Okay. Nice. That's it, right? That's the end, right? Game over, right? Huh? Yes? Did it work? I think so. You really gotta give it to DC Douglas for really putting his all into this performance. Yeah, he did. It's like the perfect mix of completely completely like campy hammy and just also like really Get, strongly delivered yeah really strong and intimidating but in a really you'd be perfect for fist of the north star honestly yeah it's really hammy but also really well put yeah really really well delivered really yeah yeah let's just run to the backwash of these jets or rockets actually those are fucking rockets whoosh they just go flying came over <laughs> That'd be so good. How hilarious would the quick time failure scene be there? <laughs> they, yeah, it just shows them getting blown away. Poof. <laughs> <laughs> they get tossed like Team Rocket. Also, apparently this oil tanker was also a carrier. Cool. So what was he waiting for? Uh, Chris and Sheva to show up, I guess. Yeah, why didn't he just take off immediately after? Why did he even have to get off on the oil tanker? It seems I may have underestimated. What was the oil why tanker for? Why did any for? of this happen? <laughs> it seemed like this was completely in place before we even got here. <laughs> yeah, like, why did he get on the oil tanker just to get on the jet? Couldn't we just remove the oil tanker step? Ouroboros. I mean, I don't, I don't understand what the, what the, like... This part, what is right here. This bitch actually thinks this shit is gonna fucking work. Will be released into the atmosphere, ensuring complete global saturation. Why didn't he do this yesterday? And why, again, he thinks that... You'll get fucked. Alright, well, that was, uh, that was Sheva, everyone. <laughs> Roll credits. I hit that shit like a split second too late because I was busy like getting angry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, Wesker is. thinks this shit's gonna aerosolize when his research literally proves it doesn't. When empirical evidence shown in tests, field tests, shows it doesn't. And also this race, like, I don't need anyone else. I don't need a partner. This is the entire theme of this game is friendship is magic. <laughs> What is that? Al what? Ouroboros will be released into the atmosphere, ensuring complete global saturation. 
this? Why do you need a plane to do this? <laughs> this fucking game! Yeah, I love love these cutscenes though. Again, fucking owned. Every time he tries to fight Wesker. Your feeble attempts only delay the inevitable. That's pretty awesome that he's doing that, by the way. Oh yeah, this whole shit's fucking awesome. Also, that's his classic samurai edge pistol. Yes it is. Which is just a modified Beretta with a reinforced frame. Chris! There we go, Chris. Oh no, Chris. You got that was fucking awesome. Uh-oh. Also, I love how Sheva's like one of the only people who was actually able to get her hands on him. Yeah. She put that fucking nasty ass. Uh, what? Also, right? also, also, very convenient that this that this airship's fucking autopilot can just be turned off by a release lever. You know, you, not not on the bridge where where it should be. But just in the cargo bay, you can just turn the autopilot off. Well, that's commonly something you have to do from a cargo bay. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Okay, real talk though, is it? No. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait a minute, is it? Because maybe I could sort of see that happening. Also, oh no, don't do it. You have so much. Please, you are my partner. Ah. No, I won't lose another partner. <laughs> We're fucking checking. Like... No! no! <laughs> I love that. Roger Craig Smith also does a good job in this game as Chris. All the actors really were trying their best, which I really can appreciate. Yeah, fuck you, Wesker. Owned. Now it's Wesker's turn to get owned. No one survives this, by the way. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a, that was my first immediate thought when I played this game, was like, there was no, and everybody died, credits roll. There are a bunch of boxes here. Yeah, good thing. Yeah, did they just fall out of the fucking plane? The plane that just, like, crashed down at an insane velocity? I mean, it was accelerating. It was going very fast. It was being propelled. Well, it had a rocket. It had a rocket assisted takeoff. But I guess those weren't, weren't engaged anymore. So it was just probably going, like, at a very, you know, a reasonably slow, you know. Assault bombers. Miles an hour. Assault yeah. bombers really do be like that, though. I should have killed you years ago. Oh, check that box. Chris. Your mistake. It's over, Wesker. Over. Over. Oh, hey, about to check another box. Oh, check that dialogue box. Yeah, bingo, right? Yeah, we're playing fucking action movie cliche bingo. All right, not gonna lie, this is pretty fucking badass. Also, amazing that the, he was one of the unique individuals that the virus could bond to. Guess he really does have superior genetics. Why did he wait to do this? <laughs> Why didn't he just infect himself with Ouroboros and end the world himself? Literally, Wesker's so something he doesn't want to share with people. Yeah, Wesker's so goddamn powerful, he could have done this himself. So this is what like the superhuman looks like. All right, we need to run. Why can't you understand, Chris? Do you really believe the world is worth saving? No. <laughs> no, I just don't like you, Wesker. Yeah, like what about me saving the what is? 
Who the hell said anything about saving the world? I just oh, don't so like you. I love that Chris's like Chris's wimpy hand wave. Eh. Okay, so I gotta go up here and you gotta shoot him in the back once his back is exposed. Alright, he shoot him in the back? Yeah, once his back is exposed, shoot him in the back. Well, I should have a good shot at him. Right there. Yep. I got a shot off. It's a pretty weird angle from here, though. He's only exposing a tiny bit of his back. There we go. Oh, we're getting close to the scene. You know what I'm talking about. I don't want to think about what you're talking about. Oh, hey, what's up, Wesker? Run. Oh, I love this villain monologue. All right, you got to pull yourself up. You got to mash the fuck out of that. Yeah, when I say mash, I mean you really gotta fucking mash, because you gotta pull yourself up. I was mashing the shit out of that. Okay, whatever. Whatever game. Whatever game. Hold on, let me see something. Yeah, it's fucking nutty. Selling all treasures. Sell them treasures. Okay. I think this gun's at maximum now. Nice. Because I was really mashing that shit. Yeah, it's... It's rough. Why can't you understand, Chris? Do you really believe the world is worth saving? Stronger and better. Humans have escaped this winnowing for far too long. But they haven't. That's not what natural selection is. Yeah, like I, I, I really get frustrated as, as, as an ecologist or an ecology student. I get really pissed off whenever people misappropriate Darwinist Darwinism. Like, natural selection isn't about isn't there's no, there's no objective superiority in evolution. Yeah, so evolution is about, and yeah, Darwin's theories were about environments, not about... Yeah, it was about how, how creatures adapt to their environment, and creatures better suited for survival in that environment have a better chance. Yeah, fittest wasn't referring to strongest, fit is referred to best fit. What fits best in that situation. Yeah, yeah it's like people so constantly forget about... The, the definition that he applied to fittest at the time, because fittest doesn't refer to fitness. Fittest refers to as in what fits. Yeah, as in what is what what is the best fit for that environment? What the best fit for that that niche? Yeah, what what creature can fill that niche the best? Yeah, and so in the process of uh, of evolution, the people. All right, you lived. Like it's people really misappropriate it. It's like they don't understand what what was being talked about. They don't. People just hear survival of the fittest and they're like, "Oh, that's some that's some edgy badass shit that I can say to people I don't like when I beat them up." That yeah, you know, when in fact with human society, fitness to survival is the is not violent tendencies. Yeah, it's the opposite. 
Yeah, but that's the thing though, is when people use Darwinism and misappropriate it like that, it's usually a way to justify, justify cruelty. Yeah, basically justify cruelty or murder. When, and people's like, oh, humans are, when, when Wesker, obviously Wesker's an idiot, but when he's like, humans have been free from that window, it, no, they haven't. Yeah, they've literally survived this long for a reason. Also, boulder punching. I know, I saw that. There are plenty of environmental pressures that are put on humans. And again, though, Wesker's insane. That's true. It's he's, like... He's like, the human race requires judgment. No, it doesn't. It judges itself just fine. Like, if we... And if what we, are you talking about? A minute ago, you were talking about natural selection. Now you're talking about judgment? Yeah, and if we, and if we wipe ourselves out, that's our business. That's human. That's the human race judging itself. If we use climate change as a device to destroy ourselves, that's 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 just how it goes. It's just people don't understand evolution uh, or what it, it, it. People think of it as like an, it, it's just it's just a mechanical process by which certain genes are Where more are you likely. Going? Did you run um, off on oh, me? Okay. No, yeah. I this is gonna... this is the final fight arena. We finally got past all the all the all the very nasty shit. Okay, I need to get on one side and you need to get on the other because he exposes weak spots when he raises his arm like that. He's got a weak spot on his back. What the fuck? Uh. Nice, good hit. All right, and then stay back from him. What is this shit? And then he has a tantrum, and then his chest becomes exposed. And now, time 10 to end the game. Ow. Thank you. Fuck off, Wesker. All right, and we'll have to do that about one more time, maybe two, if we're very unlucky. I can't move, not to you. And now he's just doing it out of petty revenge. I mean, I know all about pettiness, so. I got you, 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 got you. Revivicitated. Uh. Okay. That's just a thing that he does, apparently. All right, and then stay back from him. And then he's gonna turn to face us, and that's when we, and that's when we destroy him. There we go. All right, GG. Except not because there's gonna be one more QTE. Because of course there will be. Of course there will be. There has to be one more QTE. No! How could you have beat me with your partner? I don't need a partner. Partnership. I don't need anyone. Partnership is the real strength. You lost because you have no one, Wesker. Meanwhile, yeah. the other the other partners in the game. The old partner. Friendship friendship with Chris ended. Josh is my new best friend. Chris, Josh saved me. Also, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Blacks.com. Well, at least it wasn't one of those Woodaloo guys. <laughs> I love I love the Woodaloo guys. God. <laughs> I'd love, at him. I'd love, so you go out a window too? <laughs> <laughs> I'd let the I'd let the Woodaloo guys fuck my girl though. Real shit. I mean. 
This motherfucker. Look at him go. He's still trying. Also, what a scream. Is this where we, where we shoot him with two missiles? Hell yeah. Use those. Just kind of hanging out there? Yeah, just kind of hanging on the wall. Also, the other door's not open. Locked and loaded. Okay, Ready, partner. so this is... Suck on this, Wesker. Okay, so, problem. The other door's not open. That means that the backblast from those RPGs would have fucking liquefied everybody in that helicopter. I know. Everybody in that helicopter would be would be me because of that backblast. That was for our fallen brothers. All right, check that box. Also, what a fucking ho like even by this game standards, that's a very cliche thing to say. Yeah. Yeah, even by this game standards, yeah, it's. <laughs> Look at these fucking nerds. Finally. Oh yeah. Man, Josh looks like shit. More and more I find myself wondering if it's all worth it. Oh my god, for. one one more cliche monologue. For a future without fear. Yeah. It's worth it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty Kino. Yeah, we're Oscar bait. And Damn. then helicopter flies off into sunset. Damn, it looks pretty though. Really glad we removed that green filter. Yeah, wow. And then it's over. It's a good thing Wester's dead. Oh, man, it would have been really embarrassing if he fucked or something. Oh wait. Oh, Resident Evil 6. Wait till we get to you. It's a weird... It's where, a weird, it's a where weird do you, time. Where do you get off being a bad boy with that much tood? Uh. Oh, we weren't even playing on professional. We were just playing on hard. Oh, yeah, professional... Oh, oh professional is like the... Uh, the one you unlock after beating the game. Well, we beat the game... Yeah, for Resident Evil 5, you don't want to like professional until you beat the game on hard. <laughs> but yeah, fucking... The character's co coming up to, uh... To fucking Jake Wesker, so I'm like, Where do you get off being a bad boy with that much tood? Yeah, I think I'm a bad boy. Bad boy with extreme tood. Alright, so I wonder... How long... Is um extra content? Lost in nightmares, desperate escape. How long is Lost in Nightmares and Desperate Escape? Because we could probably do one of those two tonight. Desperate Escape isn't super long, I don't think. I don't have it though for some reason. Oh shit! Well, you could get it. I mean, I have all the extra content. I just don't. For some reason, it's not appearing on my. In fact, I didn't get any unlocks from that. Huh? What? Really? Yeah, I didn't get any unlocks. Not in your extra content folder? My extra content folder has Lost in Nightmares. Doesn't have Desperate Escape, though? No. I also don't have any, any new costumes. Well, the new costumes you have to unlock in the bonus feature section, that's why. Hold on, let me see here. If you have gold edition, then you should have all the extra settings. Here, I'll let I mean, me all I ha all, all I have in these are the um like all the figurines. Weird. 
So we could try our hand at Lost in Nightmares tonight, or I could give you like five minutes, I could use the bathroom, and I could see if you could figure out how to get yourself. Um, okay, uh, I think I'm getting, okay, so I'm like versus characters now? Oh, oh yeah, um, the costumes are also based on the amount of PSAA emblems you get. Okay, I got 12 out of 30. Well, but yeah, so I don't think I don't I don't know how many BSA emblems it is for a costume unlock, but if you didn't get any, that's probably why. Um, all right, five des. All right, desperate escape. So it's in gold edition, but if you don't have gold edition in the game, then you'll probably have to buy it real quick. I have gold edition. Huh. Then I don't know why it's not letting you do it. Could you start it and maybe try and invite me to it? Yeah, yeah, that that'll that'll probably work. Um Do I have to like start and hit new game plus? No, like cause how it worked for me when I beat the game, uh, I just kinda got it after a certain point. I also only have the amateur, normal, and veteran difficulty. I don't have professional. Weird. Why isn't it giving you... I got no, I got no unlocks because I joined your game. Oh. I mean, if you want, I could help you beat Wesker again, and then you can get some unlocks. Is that going to do it? Oh, let's see. Might, but let me see if I can just host. Uh, do you want normal or veteran for Desperate Escape? Veteran. veteran. Normal's real, normal this game is super easy. Uh, yeah, wait a minute. Okay, desperate escape. Okay, co op, post game, veteran. Start game. Okay. Invite to lobby. <laughs> All right, yeah, okay. so we can play this together anyways. Just because, yeah, you'll want to go back through Resident Evil 5's campaign real quick and just get all the unlocks that you missed. Chill. Chill. Ew, Chris not in his fucking Mad Max he wear, outfit. He's wearing a stupid outfit here. It's gay and dumb. I'm so sorry. We've seen all this. Get this, get this shit out of here. Give me Josh. Here we go. Here we go. Fuck yeah. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. I think we missed a bit of important stuff, though, about how Josh and Jill met up, but whatever. Eh, whatever. Oh, fuck yeah. Helicopter's waiting on the other side of this mountain range. Hurry. Sheva may need our help. Got it. Okay, so Sheva is like her, his Jill, then. Yeah. Is what I'm getting. We gotta find Sheva. Handgun ammo here. Yeah. No, it's like now. Now Josh is gonna be like, "Hey, are you alright?" Oh God, he's just—he's he's part of the problem now. He's just Black Chris. Yeah. Uh oh, we got a really gross boy. Got a got a bulbous fleshy boy. Oh, a whole bunch of guys. Hey, guy. Hey, bunch of guys. Oh, there's an explosive barrel over here. Let's see if I can lure this guy over. Yo, get the fuck off me, you bitch! Let's see if I can 
Oh, these will help. Oh, fuck me. Oh no, Jill. Oh. Oh, we're both dead. I was distracted and then got hit by a bottle in the head. Yes, I would like to continue. I don't ever want this experience to stop. Okay, so I just have a pistol. Okay. Yeah, and I just have the scorpion, so... Yeah, we need to play, like, super effectively, super cautiously. There's pistol ammo up here, by the way. Oh my god, his, his attack move is an elbow drop. Oh my god, is it really? Okay, I'm sorry I interrupted that. You are way out in the open, too, so that's not helping. I need to see what Jill's is. I All think right. it's like a crazy, like, it's probably a crazy leg mm -hmm. thing. Oh, yeah, it's a double knee and then into a backflip. I love how between Resident Evil 3 and 4, Jill be... Like, you know how Chris, like, physically trained to lift buses? Like, Jill just became an Olympic gymnast. So... So, I mean, both Chris and Jill just became, like, demigods. They're really good between, at between, this. Yeah, between RE3 and 4. Yeah, definitely you need to find you need to find uh, choke points to box enemies into. Cuz otherwise we're going to get fucked sideways and it's going to be really bad. That'll help. I'm getting boxed in. I'm going to die. We really need to work together, because if we don't, we're, we're gonna lose. Yeah, we're too poorly armed. We're poor. We're, we're not coordinated enough either, because we're both running off and doing our own things. We need to communicate. Yeah, well, we're, we're used to playing it because we're both, like, armed to the fucking teeth. Yeah. Here, well, we're a lot less. When we were playing earlier on, we were very. Um, we were very communicative, and then we stopped because we both got insanely overpowered. Ow, motherfucker. All right, he's dead. Okay, just pick up ammo first, right here. Score star. I don't know what that accomplishes, but hell yeah. Okay, and then pick off as many guys as you can before dropping down. If you can find any. Okay. So. Oh, where'd that come from? Ah, I see ya. I see ya. He's dead. Alright, one of them's transforming into a fleshy boy. There's another one down. Okay, so where'd you go to get that revolver? It's in the, uh, it's in a safe over here. In this control room over here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you want it, or should I pick it up? I'll take it. I haven't used the, the okay. magnums yet. Okay, I, I've got you covered. In case anybody tries following you up. There is an asshole in here, but I'll blow him the fuck up. Yeah, we need to stay communicated. Well, there was an asshole in there. Nobody's coming up after you. Okay, so that's two. More guys climbing the fence. Fuck.
Yeah, once we're armed to the teeth, we can get a little bit more lenient with our playstyle, but right now we really need to play safe. Holy fuck. What a monster. <laughs> he just kicked the head off a man. <laughs> he just fucking kicked that dude's head off. I don't even think it was a full kick, you just fucking need him. He just... Josh is the kind of dude that kicks a head off a man. Alright, this thing, if, oh, it this bite, if it bites you, it just, it'll just eat your health bar off, so... You want to kite it over to this explosive barrel. I got you. Where is the fucking... Got it, he's dead. What do we got here? Transport area key. So we had to kill this guy. Anyways, let's... Loot. Need more ammo. I got ammo for you. Come here. Alright, we need to also focus on melee combat a bit more early. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Fucking hell. God, I love Josh. Absolute unit. Just elbow drops a man's head off. Here's what Jill has. The double knee drop. Friendship ended with, with Chris and Sheva. Now Jill and Josh Stone are my new best friends. Dude's last name is Stone. Yeah, like... His name is like... like <laughs> my name's Rock. Rock Manly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking. <laughs> Can you smell what the rock is cooking? <laughs> also, check out Jill knives. Like way, way, way more efficient than Chris and Sheva. She actually just. Oh, shipped. there's it. Here, you want this other handgun just so you have one? Oh, it's the fucking worst one in the game. But yeah. But yeah, she just straight shivs with this thing. Yeah. She. Alright, well, I'll take one of those, and one of those. Okay. We're in a good spot now. We're in, in a better so spot. So why hasn't she zipped up her, her uh, suit? She likes it better this way. Don't forget she had Jiggle Physics in Resident Evil 1 Remake. I mean... Japan. Japan. That's the only answer. I can't open it from here. Alright, let's, let's watch Josh yeet this person. Oh god. <laughs> Throws her into the stratosphere. Yeah. See, why didn't Wesker just throw throw like throw somebody into the stratosphere? That would that could have been his delivery vector. Oh yeah, he walked right into the elbow drop. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. All right, watch your health, by the way. Nice. Yeah, no human could reach through here and lift that up. If only. If only he had the power. God, I love Jill's knifing animation. What's what's Josh's knifing animation? Same as Chris's and Sheva's. Oh, he does a big swing. That's lame. Uh, guys behind you with dynamite, by the way. No, they're all dead now. Okay. You go pick up that handgun ammo. Oh, 
Oh, I love you. He gives a fucking battle cry. I was until you interrupted, Doug. I'm headed to your position, and I'm bringing the lead. Josh is all the man she ever needs. Josh is such a beast. He's a fucking hero. Okay, well we have half an herb. Also, I don't know if your Beretta has um, critical hit chance. But if it doesn't, then uh, just aim center mass, because there's not really a huge difference between uh, the damage a headshot deals. Well, he hitting head stuns them. True. Yes. Head or legs. But, yeah, if you're just going for kills, just hit center mass. Let the big man come after you and then ignite those barrels. Okay, apparently he just yeeted right past that shit. Oh, nice job. And then he explodes, nice. Just like God intended. That was sick, watching that. Josh the Rock Johnson. Reload. Watch out for that pipe wrench. Oh, God damn it. Where's he coming from? Oh, he's coming from behind us. Yeah, I see him. Oh, there's... Is there just the one? No, there's two of them. Okay. Um, can you climb this ladder? Okay, never mind. Just keep kiting them back. Watch out! Oh, get the... Fuck, this is fucking hard, by the way, this DLC. What happened? You got hit by a crossbow bolt, and you weren't looking. I don't even know where it came from. From the ledge up above. Okay, that's empty. This shit ain't looking good, Chief. There's some, uh, there's uh, some red bell, red barrels here that we can kite them into at least. Fuck. Oh shit! Oh, this one's dead. Oh fuck me.
Alright. We need to get the fuck out of here, dude. Emergency exit key used. Let's go. Jesus fucking Christ, this DLC. Alright, so... That happened. Shit ain't looking too good. Uh, by the way, you're holding on to a bunch of machine gun ammo. Oh, yeah. You have a first aid spray! Use this. I didn't even notice. Reload. We can use it now. Don't get careless. Yeah, because you just, like, get love tapped. Also, I see a green herb, so you, if you pick up a green and combine it. These dudes just running when you're running. Oh, they got a cannon. That's awesome. Yeah, they got a cannon. I'm sorry, but I have to go to the communication facility. There's something I have to tell Chris. Oh my god, are Jill. you kidding me, Jill? Get rid of me that easily. The chopper is waiting for us beyond the communication facility. So we are heading in the same direction. Thank you, Josh. Like, ah, shit, shit, shit. Jill, are you, are you completely serious, though, Jill? Like, really? I love that, the fucking butterfly twin kick. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. I got some machine gun ammo, I'll give it to you when... Yo, this bitch need to die. Oh, I stunned him. Oh shit. Nice, good hit. Nice! Alright. There's another asshole running over there. I'm like, absolutely not. Alright, well we need to get in close. It's the only way we're going to survive, is if we start getting them in close quarters. Take these. What an what absolute beast. monster. I love him. A rotten egg. Delicious. What do we got in here? What do we got? What do we got? Machine gun ammo. God, if only I had a good machine gun. They got a, they got another guy on that turret. Ow. Uh. Okay, thanks for spelling that out to me. Okay, that didn't actually hurt too bad. Fuck off. Okay, again, he's dead. Again, though, did no damage to me. Oh, fuck off! That was fucking horse shit. Alright, I need to heal. Ah, assholes everywhere. Fuck me! Oh my god. Oh, I'm out of ammo, too. Yeah, you really gotta make use of those melees if you want to survive this DLC. Yo, over here. Fortunately, these characters have insane melee attacks. Yes. They, I think these characters' melee attacks deal more damage than Chris and Sheva's. Pistol ammo right here.
Oh, executioner guy. Yeah, I saw him. I blew up a barrel right next to him, so. We're gonna wanna, we're gonna have to melee him to death though, probably. Oh, run. Oh, hey, buddy. Run. Fuck me. Oh, that one's also coming from above us. Oh my god. Hold on. All right. Downed him. Kick. Oh. Thank you. I think we should There's also a fire thing over here, isn't there? We should keep moving forward too, I think. Yeah. Yeah, watch it. We need to keep moving. Yo. Use this. Combine those. Keep running. Shit. We good, we good, we, ch we chill. Hold on. Hold on, I gotta put... We both my got... Fucking, when I combine them, like, I don't know what's wrong with the keys here, but like, I... It... Problem with the game meant for control... Oh, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, yeah. Problem with the game meant for controller is that's what happens. Yeah. Okay, we're getting the hang of it though. I feel like we don't need to fight like half these goons. Oh no, yeah, I think the objective is just to keep moving. Yeah, only get only like fight to get dudes out of your way. I think yeah, once we get to that like that uh fucking Fuck cannon, off. I feel like we can deal with people. Fuck off. This bitch ignites that can't Fuck! Stop! As soon as they ignite that can fire, I lose all of my fucking health. That pisses me off. Get lit on fire. Alright, we just need to get past this guy. I'm dying. Okay. Wall. Yo, we gotta open this. Took no damage, that was nice. I think one of the missile launchers is up here. Indeed it is. It is. Can we hit the other missile launcher is the question. Yes, we can. Oh, you actually gotta arc this shit, though. Cover. Cover me. Yo, I don't know where Bubba's going, but he's he's going down. Reload. 
Yeah, I don't know where Big Chung is fucked off to. Yeah, I, I was watching him walk away from me. Alright, get fucked. Get fucked, idiot. Alright. Yeah, I don't know where he went off to, but whatever. No, I'm not done with this thing yet. I'm getting some revenge. Alright, I think everybody's dead. That fucking hook, though. You gonna get some machine gun ammo? Here, I'll yeah. give you my pistol ammo. Yo! Oh, he's back. Here he is. How you doing, bud? Fuck. Fuck off. Yeah, we need distance. Where are we headed? Where are we headed? Where are we headed? Um. Oh, we gotta go back the way we came. Now I remember. Man, the, the lack of healing items here. If I just get a green herb, I have a green red. Com I'll have a green red combo. So. Okay, that's the other cannon up there. And here comes Big Chungus. You've got a really good bottleneck here. Oh, okay. Oh shit, you gotta get off that. Uh. Oh no, I'm stuck. You're stuck. Oh shit. Well, I can keep Big Chungus occupied. I got a green. Okay, cool. I'm coming. Uh, I can't. I can't follow that up. Might be able to take him out though. Hey, not if, not if he does that. God damn it! What is that? Yeah, that guy likes to swing that shit around. Luckily, we. Oh, we got a checkpoint. That's nice. Yeah. Beautiful. I guess some dudes jumping down at us. Oh my god, I, I almost got a suplex. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that is that your hit him from behind move? Yeah. Yes! Oh. Get fucked. All right, we need to run. I'm so glad I got to see that. I don't think they teach you that in the military. Not how to suplex a man. They teach you how to kick a man's head off. It's, yeah, they teach you how to kick a man's head off. They don't teach you how to absolutely break his neck with a suplex. I'll, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Okay, Hold on. don't worry. Let's just keep going. No, yeah, just keep going. You didn't take any damage from that, thank God. Oh, fuck that. Yo, he is, he is coming after us at full speed.
Look out. Where are we going? Come on. Oh, a bunch of chung a bunch of chungus is over here. Can't open it from here. Well, ah! fuck. Well, shit. Well, goddamn. Oh, cool, I'm cornered. Epic. Yo, bitch, what the fuck? Okay. Oh, there's an assist jump here. But then you'll be stuck. Oh, God! Oh, shit. Okay, I can't help you from there. I... I went in the wrong direction. Uh, it's possible I went in the wrong direction. That's fine, at least now we have a better idea where to go. Yeah, I feel like this is a very trial and error kind of DLC. Well, it is a desperate escape. Yeah, okay, we got another checkpoint here at least. Alright, so... Oh, that's a that's a turret. Okay, so there's a let's just jump over there where I'm aiming. One of them transformed into a fleshy boy. Oh, there's an assist, the assist jump you were talking about. Well, fleshy boy's dead. Ah, oh, fucking chungus! God damn it! Motherfucker hit me with a loudspeaker. I'm gonna try to stun him. Or he's just gonna explode, okay. Everyone seems to be exploding these days. Alright, let's let's yeet you up there. Alright, let's see if I can get that guy off the turret. Yo, you better fucking not. <gasps> okay. I can get rid of this guy. All right, fire, fire, you asshole! God damn it! You actually knocked me down. Last mistake you'll make. Killed another. Killed another big. Killed another chungus. an executioner guy I'm taking care of him I need you to cover though uh, where are I'm on the turret Shit. I'm on the gun I think the executioner guy's gotten too close for me to hit no he's actually in a good spot ah uh. fuck shit fuck oh god oh shit oh fuck okay I can't save oh. you. I know there's an executioner guy on me. God damn it. Yeah, we really need to stick together as much as possible. Well, it won't really help here because we have to split up, but... We, yeah, but, I mean... That's so you can take these guys from here and keep them distracted while I go around. And then I'm supposed to use the gun to take them out. Alright, you're coming down. Yeah, we want to try to get on the gun as quickly as possible. Uh. God damn it. These guns make this DLC really annoying. Uh. 
Shit, I'm... Fuck off me! Cunt! Okay, guns down. Yeah, I'm getting up there now. Oh, hey, Joel, what's up? Hey! I see the executioner coming. Let me see if I can try to keep him in. Oh god. Oh hey, what's up, asshole? I don't know where he's going though. Okay, got to beat on him. Ah, uh, turret, turret can't reach him now. Oh, but he's going into a route that I can't hit him from. Well, actually, there's a guy coming up. Apparently he had a invincibility frame while he was on the, uh... Oh, I think Executioner guy finally stopped being confused. Where are you? Okay. Executioner guy should be coming up after us soon, but I've got a, I've got something for him. Oh, for fuck's sake! Where is he? Where'd he go? That son of a bitch. There he is. Give him the old rocket in the face treatment. And now you're fucked. Is he dead? Oh, he's gone. Yeah, he doesn't exist in. Nice, good. Okay, anyways, I'm getting back on the gun. As kind of a little bit trial and error this section is, this is actually an example of a good of a good turret segment. Yeah. Like, when you get on the turret, it feels powerful. It feels like you're getting an advantage. Like, it feels like you're really kicking ass. It doesn't feel like, oh, God, a turret segment. Yeah. This especially feels powerful when I turn all these guys into meat. Yeah. So this is actually a well-done turret segment. And if you want to put a turret segment in a game... This is what it should be. It should be a seg- Oh, for fuck's sake. It should be a segment that encourages mobility. And it should be a segment that makes you feel powerful. True, but it helps a lot if it's not on rails. That is a really important part of it, yes. So, uh, there's a guy here. Indeed there is. Okay. He's gone. I'm apparently I, shooting him with a fucking water gun. Can I get some machine gun. gun ammo? Also, you had a, you had a flashbang. Yes. Take this. Right. Reload. Reload. I'm just picking up shit I can find. That way I can just give it to There's you. There's a sh shit ton of stuff on that bridge. Yeah, there are. That's where a lot of men died. <laughs> a lot of men bravely laid down their meat bags against the against the, the the meat cannon. Unsuccessfully, might I add. All right, um, I'm just gonna shoot that barrel. More dudes coming out of the woodworks. What's in this building? I wonder. Ammo, lots of it. Hell yes, gamer. Okay, I want to use the shotgun. Okay. Hey. 
Lol. I got, I got to use the Turning cannon. Turning men to meat. I got to use the cannon. It's only fair. Some rifle ammo here too. What does that mean? Yeah, you really got. Also, a rifle coming up looks like. Where? Because there's rifle ammo. Well, yeah, that's what I was saying. It's like rifle. That means there's got to be rifle ammo. That means I get to snipe. Yeah, it means you get the rifle. We'll basically just switch up uh, weapons. All right. Um, let me just. I'm gonna turn my controller off then if I'm gonna be getting the rifle. Okay. This well. is where we were. Yeah, you couldn't get. We couldn't get in here. All right, just checking the map real quick. Okay. We gotta take out that gate now. I'm full, hold on. Behind us. At least we're like, it's nice though. The game's got like a bit of a power curve to it. I like that. Or this DLC, like, got a really rapid power curve. Because we start yeah. by feeling really desperate, and now we're like, all right, we can actually clean these guys out because they stop coming after us after a while. Take this. You just keep picking up my ammo out of force of habit. Well, I'm I'm just picking up everything I can see because I have room. I figure I can give it to you. I mean, you have plenty. Oh, what's like in here? Need it. You already have one. Time for me. Time for me to get one. Anyway, it's also time for me to arrange for PC mode. So there we go. There we go. There we go. Ba 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 ba. Okay. You get to be on the turret now. Mom says it's my turn on the turret. Well, where are the men to turn to meat? Uh, you open that gate, and then I'm sure the men who turn into meat come out of it. Yeah, I will approach the gate and see if the, the, the meat men come out after me. I'll probably regret doing that, but I don't care. Apparently we killed everyone here, because nobody's coming after us now. Okay, well that's good. We can just head out then. Yeah, I right, bro, I'm about to head out. Also, I've got a, I've got a, I got a gift. Oh, I've got to arrange my shit in a way that makes sense. Okay. Um, if you want to brute force it, you can just quickly tap open the menu and then right click whatever you want to use. That's kind of how I do it uh, when I'm switching between keyboard and mouse and, um, yeah. Oh, more turrets. Oh hey, what's up, dude? There's an there's an executioner up there. Yo, bitch, what the fuck? Yo, get him near those barrels. Fuck it, get him near the turret. Yo, yeah, let's lure him all the way back hit back there. I'll try to hold him in place. Oh, the other turrets are just doing 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 our work for us. He's dead. Yeah, he's a goner. 
Good. Watch your back. Nice. Remember to stay close to walls. Limit it limits your uh, your points of contact. Let me get up here and see what's going on. How are we Shit. doing up there? I'm okay. I just need to. F okay, there's an assist jump that's gonna let us get into the uh, the turret area. I grab the green herb. There's a first aid spray up here too. Let's check inside this tent. Yeah. yeah. There's the first aid spray near where I am. Okay. Um I'm just gonna use my herb. Yeah, okay. Don't keep careless. Here and then I'll give this to you then. You got a lot of shotgun ammo, thankfully, and you got the, you got the most powerful one in the game. It's just not the most most long range one, but as long as you're close to somebody, you'll end them. Ah, damn! I wish you sent me up here with a grenade. There's a big boy here. Okay, I'll just I'll just spend that magnum ammo. He's dead. Okay. Yo, bitch, what the fuck? Okay, well, if they're cleared, I can, I should, I may be able to move up here. Oh. Yeah, I had to drop back down, though. I needed to heal. Chunky guy coming in. Oh, fucking chunk bag. Where's the? He's right here. Fucking, fucking fatty. Go on. Well, fatty exploded. Ow. Yeah, Waka Gule is right. Thanks. Okay, I have to unbar that, so we got to do that assist yeah. jump again. Turn a man to goo. All right, kick a man's head off. No human could possibly uh, open the door from this side. Jesus.
that kick. Fuck out of here. Damn it. The bridge is out. Doug, come in. The bridge is out. I'm going to need you to come to us. There's a landing pad on the roof of the communication facility. Can you meet us there? Anything for you, Miss Valentine. I'll be with you. Use this. He's quite a character. That's one way of putting it. Thank God, next zone. Okay. I'm pretty sure each zone gets worse. Yeah. Uh, I think we missed a rifle somewhere. Give me a hand. Okay. I think they would have made it pretty obvious, but okay. I, said it I know Jill. Ha I know there is a rifle in this game. PDA. Please be there, Chris. Jill, are you all right? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Just listen carefully. There's something I need to tell you. Oh, this is when that it's happened. Superhuman strength. It comes from a virus. But the virus is unstable. In order to maintain a balance, he must inject himself regularly with a serum. So if he cuts the supply of serum, he loses his strength. Affirmative. But he just took a dose, so it's going to be a while before he needs another one. Damn. Listen, Excella said that the amount administered has to be precise. So if he injects too much, it should act like a poison. I think she used the serum label PG-67AW. PG-67AW? I'm gonna try to find a way to escape. You need to find that serum. Excella always kept it with her, in an attaché case. Sure. Chris. Chris? It's no good. It's being jammed. It's okay. I told him what he needed to know. Hoodie. Doug should be on the roof by now. All right. Doug sounds like a very killable person who will die. Yeah, will Doug, sound, Doug die. sounds like he's not going to make it. <laughs> oh boy, gas cans. I wonder what we could be fighting up here. Yeah, this looks like a boss arena, which means we probably missed a rifle. I have one magnum bullet left. I have a lot of handgun ammo if you want some. Uh, I'm good. I'll find my own. Some hand grenades up here. Two, three. Let's put that right there. Okay. Oh no, is this QTE time? No, okay, thank god. Shit! You're escaping! Where the hell are you, bro? I'm almost there! You worry about keeping Miss Valentine safe and let me worry about getting you out. Do you have a way to heal yourself? No. All right, I got you. I got you. Yo, get the fuck out of here. Ah. <sighs> Oh god. You gotta be careful. We're about to get shot at. By a gun. That's a gun. Reload. Oh. 
Oh, bitch. You okay? We're gonna die. Okay, we're not dead. Do you want the health now, or do you want me to hold on to it until we get another green or a red? Oh, uh, we definitely need health now. You gotta be careful. Alright, well that should tide you over at least. Shit. Machine gun guy's stuck on a wall, thank god. Behind you, behind you. Got him. Jill's a stab machine. I think this dude's about, yeah. Chainsaw guy's about to drop down right on top of us. Two of them. Yeah. Fuck me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm about to be shot at by a gun. There's machine gun man. Got it. Fuck! Oh, we got lit up. Yeah, we definitely missed the rifle because this is probably like the end of the DLC. I'm losing track of you too often. Okay. Magnum ammo. Beautiful. I see him. Okay. You almost light this bitch up. He's dead. Good. Fuck him. Yeah, so I realized this DLC, it's actually not about surviving. It's about not being a pussy. The more you kill, the better off you'll be. Just like in life. Yeah, because you actually, because these guys hand out ammo like candy. 
The only reason we were playing like cowards is because if you take damage, because we're playing on veteran. But if you just don't get hit ever, you're fine. Just don't play like a bitch and don't get hit. Rules to life, honestly. Oh, you're fine. I can just restore my own health. Okay. Chainsaw guys are coming in. I don't know where. I see. I see one of them. One of them's uh, is coming down from to that the uh, I that can, ice safe area. I can I can blow this guy away. Are those? Is that like liquid nitrogen? This one's dead. Are you standing next to liquid nitrogen? Look at that! Look at these big things. This dude's back. He's back up. Fuck. Okay, I need help. Yeah. Yo, okay, cover. This one's dead. <clears throat> oh, this is bad. Yeah, I couldn't get you. <sighs> she have got pinned by those guys. We really... Okay, so we gotta stick together... Like, if you're going somewhere, we can't lose track of each other. And really, you have to try hard not to get hit. Well, we died there because they... Kind of because we were together. Because they both fucking knocked us out. Fair. But, I mean, that was... An extenuating circumstance, let's be, let's be fair. Ah, oh, the magnum ammo is not here anymore. Maybe it drops... over to where you oh, are. get oh, fuck shit. away from me. You <laughs> fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> okay. This guy, I'm just gonna fucking light him up with grenades as soon as he gets close. Alright, I have a I have, an, I have a first aid kit, though. He's dead. Yo, <laughs> Josh just fucking tackles him. He doesn't even fucking punch him. What a legend. Okay. Watch out for the guys who throw Molotovs, because they'll just take your whole health bar off. the map for uh, pickups. You motherfucker. Okay, 
coming to you. Where's that guy shooting his crossbow from? Oh, okay, I see him. them. He's coming after you. I know, I see him. And another one dropping down in that little uh, alcove, or that little room. Okay. Can we get them together? Can we clump them up? Behind you, behind you. Thanks. Yo, that grab actually saved my life. Thank you, dude. Oh, it just gave you iframes? Yeah. Oh, well, one of them died, but then they came back. The other one's still chasing me, though. All right. Oh, I was gonna pick up the hand grenade, but too dangerous. Hey, what's up, Basil? Wow. Okay, and then the clock went back up to two minutes. Dude. You're an asshole, Doug. Yeah, fuck you, Doug. I hate you. Crazy ones coming down that alley. Don't go there. Shit. Oh, I had no fucking chance there. Maybe we sh maybe we shouldn't have started this on veteran. <laughs> Veteran's probably the one you play when you've already experienced this one before. Well, the mechanics aren't that different than No, the game. but it's overwhelming as shit though. Your first time, especially when you're not experienced in it. Yeah. Because Resident Evil is one of those games that rewards memory. Thanks. Okay. Alright, this guy, is, again, as soon as he gets close, I'm gonna light him up with grenades. He's shooting. Alright, well, he's missing. Okay. Yo, cover! I got a guy right on me. One of his own guys lit him on fire. He's dead. Those chainsaw guys are where it really gets hard. You're doing pretty good on ammo though, thankfully. Yeah. Got you. you got 
gotta be careful. There's so many bad angles here. Thanks. Got a green. I'm gonna go snag some more hand grenades. One, two, okay. So he had an ability that I didn't get to use. It was called backhand. All right. All right. One of them. One of them's come up. Fuck you. All right. We gotta go. Yikes. Uh, if we can get... Are you heading to the other safe area? Yeah. Yeah, you, fit, you fucking shit. You can jump over that divider. Yeah, that gas can right there. Yeah. Um, I guess he's going the other way. Watch it. Okay, I got magnum ammo. Good. He's in the alley. Run. Get to the other safe area. Yeah, just keep rotating safe spots, honestly. You got the Magnum? Yep. dead. Alright, perfect. Cause we don't want that guy going mental chasing us all over the place. Reload. No! Fuck off. Um. There was nothing we could do. Also, that guy was up on us so fast. It's past midnight, and I got to be up by six. We're just we're gonna do this some That's other fine. time. We can finish another time. Ah, oh, fuck me! I really wanted to get that done. It is a pretty desperate escape. Uh, you still next time we do that, you still want to do that in veteran? I mean, we if you if you don't want to do it, a better. No, can do I it mean we, I don't... we can, we can. It's just that we don't know this campaign well enough, so it's super, super punishing. Okay, I, I don't, I don't mind playing, doing, going through punishing stuff. No, um, I don't, but... I don't, I don't, I don't mind either. I'm just asking you if you're absolutely sure that this is what you want to do. Oh, I'm fine with it. Yeah. Okay, and then I guess we'll keep doing it on Veteran. We know better now, at least. Yeah, I think we're I mean, we're getting close to being able to beat that. I think that, like, we, we just tighten it up a little bit more, we'll be, we'll be fine. I mean, we're, we're progressing through. I mean, you can tell when you're doing something and you're just not even anywhere close. We're close. Yeah, well, that's we're close like enough the a end little of the bit thing. more. Yeah, we're, that's basically the end of it. Like... We're close. I think that that guy is the last like serious guy that drops down. Maybe I don't know. Maybe there's one more, but they're running out of fucking guys. Yeah. But so the, I think one of the big things is maybe so, the executioner comes at us. I don't. Know. So we missed the rifle. That's that much is obvious. Yeah. But also stack the fuck up on grenades for that final segment. Yeah, grenades are really handy there. Yeah, like just keep. Like like everything, flashbangs included, because that'll because that stuns even boss enemies. 
Just stack the fuck up on everything. Flash, flashbangs, incendiaries, and frags. For save the frags for the big enemies, incendiaries for mobs, and then flashbangs for making escapes. True that. But it's it. That's tough shit, dude. Yeah, it's a pretty rough part. I think there might be an execution or two. I'm not sure though. We'll have to find out. Oh God, if there is. Uh, either way, he's not that hard to avoid. He, I mean, you just kind of, we just have to kind of. I don't know. I think we're doing fine moving between the two areas. Um, we kind of just got jumped by that guy. Like, I don't know how he went from. He he came on us so fast. No, yeah, that, we we well, there was nothing we could do because he came out of the elevator and the elevator is facing directly towards that spot. Yeah, so we'll figure it out. But yeah, either way. Um, I'm only going to get like five and something, some change hours of sleep. That's my problem. <sighs> Whoops. My mistake. Whoops. Either, well, either way. I'll take a nap tomorrow. Cool. But All right. I, I will talk to you. Uh, I'll talk to you then. Yeah. Soon. Have a good night.